Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I am on my way to Starbucks because I have about 20 minutes until I would like to be at school. And so I'm treating myself to a Starbucks. I also am kid free this morning. Scott is taking cash to school for me. So I am able to kind of have the morning to myself, which is really nice. Um, he usually does this on Mondays because he has Sundays off. And so he doesn't have to, you know, he doesn't have to come home from work and then take him to school in the morning. So it's kind of nice. He gets you know, enough sleep and Cash gets enough sleep and then everybody's happy. So I am going to Starbucks and I have no idea what I'm going to get. I can love it when I roll up to Starbucks and there is no line. It just makes my whole day better. Sometimes when I roll up to the Starbucks, sorry, I just realized my heater is like blasting. Um, sometimes when I roll up to Starbucks and the line is like way back there, I get really discouraged and I'm like, Ugh, do I really want to sit in this line? But today I didn't pack myself any water. I didn't pack myself any coffee and I didn't eat breakfast because I knew I was coming to Starbucks. So I was really crossing my fingers that this line wasn't going to be super duper long, but um, they did build a new Starbucks between this one and like out of town. Um, so now we have three Starbuckses in our area. So we have the Santan Starbucks. We have and then two Queen Creek Starbucks is now. So I think that the, um, th the playing field is equally split now, or at least maybe the busyness of this one moved over there because a lot of people go that way for work and that one's on their way. This one is not on my way to work by any means, but it's only a three minute drive to and from. So it's really not a big deal. Like I left at 6.40 and it's 6.49 and I'm in line already. So, definitely worth it. Starbucks, it's gonna make great today. Good morning, can I please get a Trenta sugar-free vanilla iced coffee? Okay, and are we doing any milk or can I, milk? Um, can I do almond milk in that please? Yeah. And then, do you have any bacon egg bites? Yes, I do. I'll take some of those. And then three Trenta waters, if I can. You said three Trenta waters? Yes, please. Okay, anything else? That should be it. Alrighty, it's the meet 22 today. Thank you. You wanna go in the loop? Let's go babies. Let's go babies. All right, you guys, so I'm here. I have some things I need to do around the classroom a little bit today, maybe. Um, I need to put my magic school bus thing away. I actually really wanna laminate all of these items. I might go and ask my school secretary if I can get those laminated. Um, they do laminate things for us every once in a while, but I don't know if the laminator is like working or on or has laminate in it. Um, but obviously like my little classroom laminator is not gonna cut it. So I'm hoping that they will have laminate. It was quite the task getting all of this up here with the wrap bag, but I did manage to not spill anything. Um, and I wanted to show you guys, since this is out, um, I gave my kids a test on Friday last week on energy. It was just like a quick um, assessment of the standard that I had been, or standards that I had been teaching. And so um, I did mark down how they scored. So HP is highly proficient, and then P is proficient, partial proficient, minimal proficient. And then I just tracked it along the three blocks. So the first block I had eight proficient and above, second block was nine proficient and above, and then third block was seven proficient and above. 
So my, I think my average was, I think like, let's see, eight, 17, 24. So 24 of them were proficient and above. Um, the rest were either partial proficient or minimal proficient. So within my minimal proficient, I have at least 10 that are either SPED or ELLs. Um, and so that like, you know, the, the test can be read to them though. Like there's accommodation set in the test for them um, for that specific reason. But I think overall they did pretty good. And my partially proficients, like they were really close. A lot of them scored like within a few points of being proficient. So I think they did pretty good. And I do have a remediation quiz for them that's been made. Um, it tests them on the same standards, but it has different questions. So I'm going to give them the chance to do a second quiz this morning or I guess the beginning of class today. Um, and whichever score they do better or whichever test they do better on, I will give them their higher score. So um, I think that that's always a really good thing to do is give kids a second chance, especially when they see a test and it's the first time they're seeing a test. Like test, tests are just harder no matter what. Like kids, kids just don't do well on tests, you know? So I like to give my kids a second chance whenever I get it. The chance. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to update you guys on my plans for next year's school year. So I do have a big change coming and I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I am really, really excited. So next year I will be teaching, drum roll please. Fourth grade science and social studies. I am not going anywhere except I am moving classrooms. So I'm actually picking up and packing out of this classroom and I will be moving over to where Mandy is currently teaching her current classroom for many reasons. Um, reason number one, Mandy is leaving fourth grade. Oh! So uh, Mandy, my best, best friend, you guys have known Mandy. If you have been following me for my whole YouTube career, um, then you guys definitely know Mandy. Um, we taught together up in Prescott. We taught together in Mesa and we teach together now. Um, she is definitely my dearest and most special friend, um, not just at work, but out in the real world. I just adore her and her family. Um, I taught her son Aiden in fourth grade and I'm just in love with her daughter, Millie. She is like best friends with Cash and they're the same age and we just love each other. So anyway, she is moving on from fourth grade ELA and I'm not gonna tell you guys where she's going yet because I don't know if it's official, but I do know that the fourth grade ELA position is opening up here. Um, Mandy's student teacher is probably going to get that position if she interviews well. So um, I will be moving into her classroom for a couple of different reasons. Reason number one, her classroom is two feet larger than mine. And so with being the science teacher, I just feel like I would like a little bit more space. I think it would really suit me. Reason number two, Mandy has three super duper long windows that I really like. She gets a lot of good natural light in that classroom and I really need that. I don't do the whole fluorescent thing when I'm not filming a video or like at all. I try to keep those lights off um, and the lighting in her room is just way better. The view from her room is like the whole front of the school. I can see the train tracks. I can see Cash's playground. And I really like the idea of being able to like look down and see him. I think that would be really cool. And then also her classroom stays really nice temperature all day long. My classroom gets really hot and muggy because I'm tucked in this like courtyard and I'm facing the sun all day long. And I just, I'm, I'm not vibing in here. So next year, I will be moving into her classroom. I will take you guys over there so you can see what the room looks like. It's exactly the same lamp as mine. Door, wall, cabinets, TV, whiteboard, everything is the same. Um, it's just facing a different direction. So I will probably more than likely keep my layout exactly the same. I might switch it up a little bit just because I'm realizing now, like, being the science teacher, I don't really need to put an importance on, like, a class library. Like, I still have a class library 
but it's not like it doesn't need its own space like I just need to have the books available um, same thing with like having a countertop for my kids notebooks like I just I've learned now that I'm going into my third year of just teaching science and social studies I really do know what the kids use and what the kids don't use and what needs to have a spot and what doesn't need to have a spot. So anyway, that is my big news. I am going to be moving classrooms, but I am not changing grade levels or subjects. And I'm really, really happy about that. I am also going to be teaching Glee Club next year. Same as always. Um, I would love to add like a drama class where the kids can like work on theater, like reading scripts and stuff. But I just don't think that I'm going to have the time for that. So we'll see you someday. If I ever make it to the middle school level, I could do an elective and I could do musical theater and that would be really, really cool. So anyway, that is my big, not so big news. <laughs>my friends so it is my lunch time and I just spent about I don't know 10 minutes setting up for an escape room that we're going to be doing tomorrow I have this Mayan um coding stations escape room sort of thing that I found on TBT I think it's by think tank um that's the name that I'm seeing on the front of it think tank I believe on teachers be teachers um, and all I did was I taped the clues down to different areas in the room. And then tomorrow the kids will be going around in teams trying to solve the mystery. So there's clues like this where they have to like decipher, um, the symbols that go with a letter and then find a secret message. And then if they, um, are able to find a secret message on all four, um, clues, then they get a certificate saying that they, um, completed a Mayan empire puzzle and that they win and each if they if they pass then they each get a starburst so that is what i just spent my lunch time doing as you can see i've got um a station there a station here one up front there and one on the whiteboard here so i just spent a few minutes setting that up and now i'm going to eat my lunch and just kind of relax i have grades that are due on friday this week, they're actually not due till Monday, but I'm giving myself till Friday to do them. So I do need to go and peek through a couple of scores on some tasks and just update a few grades. And then my lunch is over in about 13 minutes. So I'm gonna try to get as many of those entered as I can in the next 13 minutes. And then um, I usually try to focus on like one class at a time. So like one block at a time. That way I keep track of what I've done and what I haven't done. So I'm going to sit down and do that. And I'm eating school lunch today because I forgot lunch and we had no groceries. So I'm eating pizza sticks and marinara sauce. So nutritious. But that's how it is today. So I decided to take the fourthies outside today to practice their lines because... It's a beautiful day out. It's like 75 degrees. There's a slight breeze. Beautiful day. We've got some shade. So they're practicing their lines with their teams. All right, guys. So it is the end of the day. Um, it is about 4.25-ish. And Cash and I are getting ready to go to the gym. So, I haven't been to the gym in maybe over a month. Um, I've been really trying to focus on my eating, which as you guys saw today and what I ate for lunch, I'm 
so I'm trying to get back in the habit of going to the gym and I'm going to try to focus on doing this at least three days a week for now and I'm gonna try and do it Mondays Tuesdays and Wednesdays that way I can have Mondays go to work out and then go to the grocery store Tuesdays go to the gym Wednesdays go to the gym and then Thursday I have off and the whole weekend I have off so that's gonna be my goal for this week. Hopefully I can achieve it. I am drinking a pre-workout today, which does help. Um, once I drink it, I have to go to the gym and work it off. Otherwise I won't be able to go to sleep later. So I am gonna drink this and hopefully it helps me to stay motivated while I'm there. Okay, you guys, so it is the end of the day. I am now just sitting in my office. I'm getting ready to play. A little bit of sims it's 8 15 and cash is totally asleep oh <laughs> there's jack they love to lay in here with me and mess up the pillows thank you jack so much for that yes i'm talking to you so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and i will see you in the next one bye